What up, what up, what up, fam? Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, world. We're going to do something different here. We're just going to go in. It's not going to take long. I won't take too much of your time, but just I had something interesting and a cool uh, idea of doing uh, something different. And I'm pretty sure there's other videos out on YouTube uh, that does this as well, but I just want to do it for you guys. So what I'm doing is emulating an SSL console. If you, have, you don't know what an SSL console looks like, it looks like this right here. It's bad baby right here. <clears throat> Wish I had one of these bad babies, but that's all right. Maybe one day. Maybe, maybe one day. All right, so that's what it looks like. Love this. It sounds so great. Um, work, got a chance to work with one in college. Haven't worked on an analog uh, console like that since I've been out of college. So I've always been in the box or hybrid with a little of the analog uh, gear along with the digital gear. But I would love to get back into that console experience and with the faders, miss it, um, love it. One day, hopefully I'll have my own. All right, so let's dive into it. All right, so what, dear, here is uh, the channels. Um, so what I've done, I put uh, plugins on each of these channels. And these are SSL channel strip. It's called the Channel Strip 2. And you can see the EQ and the dynamics on the right side, um, the gate, and a few other things that it has that you will see on the console itself, solo, safe. Um, then you have the input and output, and then the EQ is on the left. Okay, then you have some in the GUI going on to show you if you want to kind of like move the filters or the EQ before the filters or dynamics, you can actually do this. And it has the um, A and B comparison button. So it gives you a lot of good things on this uh, plugin that you wouldn't that it, you wouldn't see on a actual console. So what we want to do again, we're emulating the SSL console. So you will only see SSL products on this Cubase mixer. All right, so on each of the channels, we see that we have this on here, okay? Now on the master stereo out we have the bus compressor and this is the famous bus compressor that you hear on countless hits um <clears throat> the ssl mix bus compressor um they've updated a lot looks the gui looks very cool and um love it uh have this on the master bus because on the console you will see this on the master bus and let's take us a look at it and we'll see if we see it on there. So if you can see it right here where my mouse is pointing, there is the uh, mix bus compressor right here on the console, right in the center in the monitoring section. So there it is. All right, so we got our channels. Just like this, we have our channels here, EQs, compressors. Uh, we don't have, uh, which is the input, the mic input, line input, but I actually do. Here is my mic. Here's is my mic input in the digital world. So I have the SSL two plus, okay, and I can go in and out of here if I want to record vocals. This is where I would get my um, mic line input going on here. All right, so let's take a listen and see if we hear anything different with the plugins um, bypassed and. Um, and the plugins are turned back on. Okay, so let's turn them off. I don't know how, what, what is the shortcut for the Cubase uh, to be able to bypass, globally bypass all of the uh, plugins. But if you know, hey, shoot me a message and let a brother know. I would love to hear that or read that. Okay, so here we go. Let's play it in bypass mode. Oh, 
Okay, let's check it out um, with the plugin back in its normal on mode out of the bypass state. All right. Wait one second. Let's do that. Boom, 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 boom. All right, let's take a listen, see if we hear anything different. Okay, so to my ears, it seemed like it was just a little bit warmer. Uh, nothing out of this, you know, that jumps out at you or anything like that. So what I would do, once I start mixing this, um, on each channel, I would where it says the input output, I would adjust my input to get some of those um that's the, you know, harmonics or distortion sort of, you know, to add to the track. We give it some of that grit, whatever. I would add that, but as I add the input, I would attenuate it. How much I put in is I would attenuate out. You know, so it's not getting loud. I'm just not hearing loudness, but I'm hearing the actual effect that's going on. So I would do, relatively do that to all of the channels. Okay. Um, I would do that each channel. I would do it to taste. I'm not going to do all of them the same value. I would do it to its taste. And I would, on my mix bus, let's go to the mix bus on the compressor. And this is how I would set up my mix bus compressor. All right. <clears throat> because I like um, the transients to come through. So I wanted to glue. So I would set it up like this. So instead of me having this on auto, I like it all the way to a fast uh, release. And a slow attack. Uh, my ratio is at two. Or I can actually go one point five. Let's go two. And um, that's it. And I'll adjust the threshold of taste. So I'm just gonna play it a little bit. <laughs> So yes, that's the settings that I use to get my glue. So as I mix, I would, um, you know, add the threshold to what I might, if I need to add more or back off. I've already, I've already did my gain staging. So um, we're good on that end. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, you know, you can do this with any console emulation like the API or the Neve or whatever. You can do the same thing. So just have a little fun. You can, you know, set up your little own um, console emulation. Um, you know, just, you know, send me a like or subscribe or notification uh, if you like what you see. And also, let me know if you've done something um, with a as far as console emulation. Uh, how did you set it up? Or what was your routing? I would definitely like to know that. So you can comment and, you know, let a brother know. And I would love to check it out. So this was a little quick little video, nothing too complicated or fancy. I just wanted to share 
uh, with you guys. I, this was what I do in the studio. Sometimes I mix like this. Well, I mix like this all the time. Because like I said, I like the sound of the SSL. So I use this mostly a lot. So um, again, subscribe, like, or dislike, or hit the notification button for new material that's coming. So I'm always coming up with some cool uh, new material. And again, I am out, and I will see you guys on the next video. Video.